couple of division championships under Mike Vrabel. They've reached the AFC championship game. Levis off the fake, looking for Hopkins. He's got it. Touchdown, Tennessee. Here's a guy who's a great basketball player when he was coming up, and he, he's, he's struggling. He's A.J. Terrell is thinking, hey, I'm the one getting whipped around. Second down and 10. Levis, that pump. Right Hopkins right. behind the defender, and he's got it on the run. Third touchdown of the day. Levis to Hopkins for Tennessee. Watch the double move there. Richie Grant just bites on that double move. You can't do that. Second time we've seen DeAndre Hopkins get deep. Third time we've seen him get in the end zone. 11 games without a touchdown catch for Hopkins, and he's making up for lost time today with the new quarterback. Levis towards the end zone. Got a man. Touchdown. Wow. Westbrook Akine, and it's the fourth TD pass of the day in the debut of Will Levis had been inactive for the first six weeks and now just explodes onto the scene here in Nashville. 18 of 28, 234 yards, four touchdowns, and really we saw the one time on that drive that he's put the ball in danger. Pressure again. Wide open and making the catch at the 36-yard line, Nick Westbrook-Akine, who caught one of those four touchdown heaves last week the backfield and instead you got a 23 yard pickup and now you got Skaronski the left guard who is down on one knee at the 35 yard line yeah with Minka Fitzpatrick out of that back end you're moving some guys that are trying to replace him and I think there's a miscommunication right here very clearly with Rush who just kind of out there in no man's land I cannot say enough about the young quarterback Will Levis getting pressure hangs in during the last moment in the second round Fires over the middle at the 40-yard line. That's caught Kyle Phillips making that grab. So his second catch of the night. Safety's here. Phillips is right here. He's going to just kind of work, try to split them. And you got to be able to put this ball on a line just like that over top of the linebackers right in front of the safety. Here's, again, the, this arm strength that this kid has and the throw that he can make. I love that he stands in on these third downs. Like he's been there his whole life. Like, what's the big deal? Tennessee has one timeout. Down the sideline. Caught and getting out of bounds there. There's Phillips again. And, and Peterson, what, what an incredible job here. Giving him a good nod there at the top of the route. And I just cannot believe how Will Levis is standing in there. And the crowd roaring. Tennessee has the ball in its own eight-yard line beginning this drive with play action. A lot of time to throw. Finding the open man. It's caught there by Traylon Burks. You go to 12 personnel with one back. Derrick Henry, they're going to run back up inside their own 10. They go play action. Look how that helps the offensive line. Quarterback's able to throw in rhythm. Takes time for that, that route to come all the way across the field. Open, caught to the 36 goes Chris Moore. To clear out and watch what this does to the Steelers defense. They're of course worried about the deep ball, the threat of the deep ball. Safety here, safety here. And because they're so deep, the crosser right underneath Phillips. They see more deep shots than back shoulder throws. Different from Ryan Tannehill. Pressure's coming, Levis sees it, rolling right, throws on the run, he's got a wide open Phillips, and he gets the feet down at the 47-yard line. Go, but this is a nice job by Will Levis escaping the pocket. The pressure's been there all day, he's been good with his feet, but a wide open guy, this is pitch and catch. I don't know what to say. Here's Henry, Wildcat, they get it back to Levis, Levis gonna put some air under it, towards the end zone, it's caught, Hopkins, touchdown! So Tennessee with a little bit of a magic trick. 43-yard strike from Levis. And finally, the Titans on the board.
Uh, look at Hopkins. He's going to just uh, take a casual stroll, and then he's going to take off. And Cisco recognizes it, but how about this throw in a perfect location? Hits Hopkins in stride. 22 yards, knowing that they wanted to feature him in this game. Levis taking another shot, and he gets it to his guy. This time it's Chris Moore. So another long-range bomb from Levis. They pick up 50. This is really nice. Chris Moore has caught a couple deep balls this year, and he just turns around Monteric Brown. Instead of Levis leading more to the outside where Brown is, Levis keeps it right there at the numbers. And then Moore just goes up in high point. Uh, really has done a nice job of letting those linebackers run free and make plays on the ball. See Simmons again lined up offensive backfield. They're going to throw to him. Simmons makes the catch. <laughs> and he's in. Touchdown. And the big fella show. Uh, you know what you call that? A tendency breaker. <laughs> uh, boy, that ball, I, that ball had to be floating in the air for an eternity. Uh, but he catches it, gets it across the goal line. Fake it to Henry. Pressure coming. Levis floats it up there. It is caught by Chigo Conquo. He's out of bounds. Yeah, just coming off the edge right now and watch this. Just feel it right now. You know where your receiver is. That's not even understanding or seeing him. That's understanding where he's at. Tennessee's giving up the middle of the field. Yes. They've got three defenders way back and two guys on the sideline. So there's there the middle shot. That's a pretty good throw to Westbrook Akine. We talked about that. Outside, if not, if they're giving up the middle, you got to rush up there, throw the ball, and you see Akine right there, Westbrook Akine, on the slant, in the middle. Watch how quickly he gets down, puts the ball down, gives it to the official so they can spike that ball. And a fake to Henry. Levis downfield, and for the first time in the last six drives, this one goes for 19. Yeah, and just finding that soft spot in the zone. You see the corner rolls up and just... To Levis off the fake to Henry. Drills it for Chris Moore. I love this. Coming from the backfield across the formation, you're running what they call a dagger concept. You've got, uh, you got uh, Hopkins running off coverage in the middle of the football field. They fake it to Henry Levis on the move. Wide open, Okonkwo at the 30. Still going. Okonkwo finally pushed out of bounds. EJ Speed knocked him out. Yeah, they go right away with the action to Derek Henry and find Chiga Okonkwo flying wide open uh, over the middle of the field, but really good design. That's the 20th false start of the year against Tennessee, second most to the NFL. Levis hit as he throws, and it's, for the moment, a loose football. Julian Blackman had it. Will Levis drops back to pass. His arm gets hit, so is the ball loose, nah. or did he push it forward? To me, that looks like a forward pass. Yeah. Now, the question then becomes, is it an interception by Julian Blackman? We have Gene Serator here to give us some clarity. Gene, what do you think, and what do you see? I'm going to do my best. I, uh, <laughs> what they did, you guys are right on this end now. They ruled this pass by Will Levis was a forward, or was a fumble push forward. I, I think to it's me, going I feel forward, like he you. has control. Henry, the running back, he's already rushed for 59 yards and a touchdown so far today. They fake it to him here. Levis looking for Hopkins. Does he get the feet down? Yes. DeAndre Hopkins with an 18 yard catch. One of the best things Will, Le Will Levis has been doing is driving the ball to the outside of the field. Beautiful throw on the deep out here to DeAndre Hopkins. But he's got such a powerful arm. When you have a guy that can drive the, fall the ball to different... Levis fakes to Henry looking for Hopkins. He's got him inside the 10. First and goal, Tennessee. Spears... Back to Levis, pressure coming. Westbrook Akine is wide open. Still going inside the 
20 and smack down at the 15. 28 yard pickup for the Titans. All of this action going this way. And Akine sneaking back to the other side off the flea flicker. Really good job by Will Levis getting that ball quick, getting it out of his hands. But it's all about Tim Kelly. You've got to be at the right time. Second and goal. Levis to the end zone. Touchdown! DeAndre Hopkins! Well, this is beautiful. DeAndre Hopkins fakes to the outside, comes back to the inside. It's man-to-man -man coverage. To not give you free access on the outside. Second and ten. Levis looking for Hopkins again along the sideline. Is this one going to be good? Yes! <laughs> Hopkins to the 44. A gain of 21. So much cover three that you see. But this ends up being cover two. And there's a void between the corner. Deep drop on first down. Downfield shot is complete. Catch made by Chris Moore, who's still running and knocked out the far side at the 30. Right, Lou? Yeah, like, Chris you're going to see that hard outside zone set up, and here comes that inbreaker. And Chris Moore is the big play threat on the outside, averaging almost 23 yards per reception. And you just see him here, just push it up the field. Jalen sitting in outside leverage. They this is a completely different offense. Levis hit as he throws, but he fits it in, and there's Hopkins making the catch, still running. They haven't gotten to the ground yet. Finally shove him out of the sidelines. And looking for the main guy. That's a nice throw. Big time. Well, this took a big hit. Look at Chubb. He was come close but not gotten the sack. Stood in there and delivered. Hopkins guarded by Ramsey off to the far side. Levis steps up, launches that direction for Hopkins. And an amazing catch is made at the 10-yard line. DeAndre Hopkins falling backwards, had tremendous body control as he beat the Pro Bowl corner Howard. I mean, just look at it. You might have, you obviously could have, you could have a cause for offensive pass interference. You saw Hop pull down Xavier Howard's arm right here at the end, right there. I'm not giving you that. How are you not, not giving him that? that. You can see it materially changes the body positioning of Xavier Howard at the end. Look, it's a nice release. Xavier, though, is right in phase with him. Right in phase, right in phase. And look how his body I'm lurches sure, yeah, there's forward. The, there's what, what, what position is he playing? <laughs> no, I'm just calling it objectively. I mean, look at it. He pulls him down to the ground. Now, you're right. I'll give you that. Now, that's what Howard was pleading. Say this, they've only allowed one sack tonight, although the Dolphins have affected Levis numerous times. This time from the pocket, delivers downfield, and the catch is made by Derrick Henry, who goes up and grabs it. He's going to be in the slot. He's going to come up and hook up. Now pay attention to Jalen Ramsey. He's going to pay all vision to DeAndre Hopkins. See how he leaves him there? Then that allows Derrick Henry to go down the sidelines. It's a really good job. Will Levis threw it to Hop in the first half. He realizes Ramsey's going to peek and rips that ball. Opens rush four. Levis has time and launches downfield in the seam. Catch made. Ball pops out of the hands of Spears. Brandon Jones knocked it out, but it's spotted at the five-yard line, and the Titans are threatening. After review, the call of a completed catch by Spears stands. Took a couple of steps before Jones arrived to knock the football out of bounds at the six-yard line. And the Tennessee Titans, almost two touchdown underdogs, the biggest underdogs by far this weekend of the NFL, a chance to take the lead here in the final minute of the third quarter. <laughs> Levis lofts it, and it's caught. That's Perkakine. Ball up over him, watch. Number four goes to the flat. There's another one of those touch throws. From the pocket, now takes off, flips it into the end zone, touchdown! DeAndre Hopkins and Tennessee <laughs> has life. They've cut the lead here. You gave them everything that they wanted on that drive. What a play. By look, look at him, look at him. He looked at him last minute. He did a little no look. You're right. That's Great job sweet. keeping his eyes downfield. That's sweet. Levis stumbles as he rolls to his right, but wide open 
Westbrook Akine, huge on that drive. And look at this all 22. Hop is going to go down inside. Pay attention to those two defenders for Miami. They're both essentially going to cover Hop. There's no pass off between Kohu and Xavier Howard. That's how that flat route by Akini Westbrook becomes wide open. The trickiest part of that two point conversion was the quarterback almost fell on his face, but yeah. he kept the footing. Protection is good, and Levis lobs to Hopkins, who's got it. DeAndre Hopkins galloping down inside the 30. You see it here, clearly. Cleared one side of the field completely up. On second and eight, play action from Levis. Puts a man under it, fires, and it's caught. Big play, Traylon Burks. Boy, they've been waiting for this kid to put his imprint. They pick up 39. Well, you gotta love this. And really, this should be Jimmy Ward. He's supposed to stay underneath with the cornerback over the top. But Burks comes right out of that break. You see a beautifully clean pocket. And Will Levis is able to just stand tall and deliver with no safeties back. Little movement pre-snap. Could be a free play. Levis fires down the sideline. High pass! <laughs> Westbrook Akine, and he is just shy of the end zone, and this is good for 33. Well, brilliant use of the hard count, and then this is the flaw. Look at how many of the Texans, they stopped playing up front, and so then they stopped playing up front. Levis has all the time in the world. He understands he has a free play, and he throws it up, knowing that nothing could go wrong, and West. A lot of agreement between you and Gene. I like yeah. when you disagree more. Me and Gene, like, we're on the same page. We share the same brain, yeah. Levis keeps it himself, and he bangs it in. Touchdown. Boy, the confidence level of this young quarterback, you can feel it rise. He's going to keep it, but then he sees the pressure come off, come off of that side. And look, and then at the last second, I think he just follows Derrick Henry. I don't believe that that is designed throwing short of the, of the line to gain and then Spears doing the rest to get the first down. Yeah, he was huge in that game Monday night. Levis back to the air, slings one over the middle, and it's complete. Well, listen, uh, uh, Levis has been aggressive, and this is the second time on the same route to Traylon Burks. This is the common denominator here that I see. There's no pressure up front. Look at the pocket. And you give Levis that much time with his talent. The Titans office, offense completely one-dimensional by smothering Derrick Henry. Levis protected well again, and this pass is on Muddy. Their young second-year tight end. You see he just kind of falls on that left hip. Mm. It doesn't... No Josh Wiley today. He's out with that knee injury. Second and seven from the Texans, 43. Levis fakes the handoff, pulls it back, and delivers a strike to Hopkins. Those two able to connect here. They're going to pick up 18. A really good use of the play action to get the linebackers to move to the left side. Really kind of a challenging play for Levis, who has to fake uh, to his left side and then turn and throw to the right side. But you can't leave your tackles in one-on-one -on -one situations in this game situation. Levis buys himself some time. Oh my. Dangerous pass. It's snatched out of the air by Chris Moore. Holy smokes. They pick up 23. How did Moore come down with that football? Well, as Dalton Schultz did it earlier, this, you know what? In my day, they used to call it Moss, but now the kids, the kids say he got head top. <laughs> Chris Moore. I think about what my players are doing. And he's going to throw with Levis, or at least try to. And open, catch made of the Titans. DeAndre Hopkins with the first down grab. And DeAndre Hopkins, he said it's been a calming effect on him. You don't always get that with wide receivers. Goes through his first few reads.